Hey, hey, Fash, it's the 20th of April, 2019, and I just can't believe this popped up in my news feed this afternoon. Denver International Airport has a giant sign that's broken, and this is in the news today. And I'm just like beside myself because we're just talking about Denver Airport and this sign is just crazy. I mean, look at this thing. It's a thousand foot serpentine sign made of lights. And it's got a big sign that says den on it, like a den of vipers, right? The serpentine sign is out at Denver Airport. It's very interesting and very coincidental, the thousand-foot display of lights. That reminds me of Bush Sr., his thousand points of light. Remember? I mean, it's really kind of crazy that this would come up today. So, of course, you know, I'm thinking about Denver again, and it turns out, after a little bit of searching around for this, right, that the uh, gargoyle, they call, at Denver Airport, which is not really a gargoyle, it is a chimera, and, and there is a difference. And I showed you how closely they resemble these guys. Well, get a load of this. The, this guy at Denver Airport, the original, in the suitcase, is a literal copy from the 800-year-old chimera at Notre Dame Cathedral. And you're looking at it right there. Same exact character. And now they have a talking one that's the same exact character, if you can believe that. So the serpentine sign has gone out. What do you suppose that means now? You know what I mean? And this talking chimera it is just amazing. It, just to look into what a chimera really is, because that's what these things represent. And there is a medical definition of chimera. It's basically two or more species mixed together. I mean, there is a literal medical explanation for this, and I'll link this to you. But it's also a Greek myth that was an awesome fire-breathing monster with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a serpent. Chimera was killed, though, by the hero Beller Aophon, mounted in most versions of the tale on Pegasus, the winged horse. Remember that, because in this little video here, you're going to hear this chimera speak to this little girl. Okay, and you got to listen to what, what they say. And also, just bear in mind, what is operating this thing? Do, do people really think that they hired someone to uh, operate this thing's cameras in motion and have these quick comebacks to people? I don't think that's the case, but that's another discussion. Listen to what this thing says to this little girl. I need your help. Guess what my favorite food is. What? No, I want you to guess. Um, uh, cumin? Cumin, yes, I love cumin. <gasps> uh, she said human, and he's very quick-witted to come right back with, Oh, yes, I love, I love cumin. cumin. Now, notice what this young lady has on her shirt. She has Pegasus. The winged horse who defeated the chimera this is just crazy you guys but that is the literal same one from 900 whatever year old Notre Dame that just burnt down accidentally the other day there's so much connected to this no one could ever go through all of it all I know is this is a war that you got to be engaged in and you got to know which side you're on Okay, or it will defeat you. It just will. And this is your eternal soul we're talking about here. It's pretty important because there's no coincidence in this. After all that we were just speaking about, and now we have this creature talking about eating humans. I mean, just really listen to this exchange just one more time. Think about this, okay? Guess what my favorite food is. What? No, I want you to guess. Um, cumin? Cumin, yes, I love cumin. <gasps> I said cumin. Oh, I thought you said cumin. I'm a real big spice guy. Oh, it's so funny. This is so sad. But it's very real. I pray you know Jesus Christ. Peace and grace to you.
many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 